Just after Colorado's devastating High Park wildfire, these scientists were on the case, surveying the damage from the air and the ground. We knew that we'd have to get out as quickly as possible in order to make these measurements, particularly uh, as the summer storms come in. With support from the National Science Foundation, Colorado State University environmental scientist Michael Lefsky led a rapid response team to study the fire's impact on the ecosystem. Colorado State worked with NEON, the National Ecological Observatory Network, also funded by the NSF. NEON's airborne and mobile units can quickly deploy to wildfires and other environmental disasters. The NEON system will allow us to understand the fire's behavior and its impacts in a way that's never been possible uh, without this technology. Team members flew over the fire's path, conducting 3D remote sensing using spectroscopy, high-resolution cameras, and a LIDAR instrument. The LIDAR instrument gives us the ability to measure the structure of vegetation, and the imaging spectrometer provides details such as discriminating between live and dead vegetation. Down on the ground, teams were working hard too, monitoring the impact of the fire on land and water. A mixture of mineral soil and a lot of ash, this will have some adverse effects on the fish and the other organisms in the river, but the biggest effect from a human standpoint, of course, is the effect on water quality. There are places where the fire completely consumed the forest. It killed every tree. At the other end are places where the fire had very little impact, and then we're sampling them so we can find out just exactly how the forest is changing. The combined data shows both healthy and scarred areas in amazing detail. Short term, we have focused on providing information to the resource management agencies so that they can do a better job of planning their restoration activities. Team members say there's been an upsurge in large forest fires in recent years. Better understanding of the destruction could help planners prepare for the future, protecting land, water, and wildlife. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.